Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey, everybody. Here with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to look at all four of my Pirates of the Caribbean ships. Yes, that's right. I said four, not three. But before we go any further, let me just say, if you like this video or any other videos on the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be getting down to it after my intro coming in now. starting here with my Pirates of the Caribbean ship collection and you can see the Black Pearl and the Flying Dutchman right there on display dead center in my layout because why not it's Pirates of the Caribbean and here's my Queen Anne's Revenge and Silent Mary I got them going at it in a battle just like I got the Flying Dutchman and the Black Pearl going at it in a ship battle and we're going to take a look at all four of these ships up close and personal. And first, we're going to start with the Black Pearl because, honestly, it's the smallest of the four of them in my collection. But having said that, LEGO did a great job with the design of this. Uh, all these doors open here so you can access the captain's quarters. And it has a fantastic captain's quarters on this ship, which I'm not going to go into in this particular video. But, you know, ask again and maybe I'll do a future video going into these ships in a little bit more detail. So uh, go ahead and ask for that if you want to see it more up close. And next we have the Queen Anne's Revenge. And this one is a little bit bigger than the Black Pearl and definitely a little bit more fearsome looking with all the bones and skulls and everything all over it. And it is, of course, it is captained by Blackbeard, um, but Barbosa ends up with the ship as the series goes along. And I have the full crew on my Queen Anne's Revenge. And next up we have the Silent Mary and this ship will always have a special place in my heart because it actually played a big role in my Lego YouTube journey uh, when this ship came out I actually did a lot of press for it and it was a big uh, moment in the history of Mikey J productions and as a result I'll always love and treasure the Silent Mary and it's definitely one of the most unique ships if not the most unique ship in my collection you can see how it uh, can like rear up and eat other ships and all that Captain Salazar has a fierce one that's for sure and then finally we have the Flying Dutchman now this ship is not an official Lego set unlike the other three I have discussed this is a mock and it was a mock done by Brickstruct so uh, check him out if you want to get these instructions and then Bricklink some pieces and make your own Flying Dutchman just like this but this ship is a thing of beauty it is a work of art and it is the largest and most fearsome ship in my Lego Pirate Seas and I just love my Flying Dutchman so much so that even if Lego themselves was to do an official Flying Dutchman it would not be as good or as detailed as this particular set and I have a video on my channel already going into this ship so I'll put a link right here if you want to see all the odds and ends of the Flying Dutchman click there and so there it is there is the four ships in my collection that are featured in Pirates of the Caribbean and as I said earlier I love my pirate ships and the Pirates of the Caribbean ships are definitely top honors in my Lego Seas hey thanks for watching and don't forget we got merch store if you want to take a little piece of the show with you you can get it right here we got everything you want some Mikey J stuff? We got the Mikey J Productions for you. So take a chance and stop by. We'll take care of you.